Hello and welcome to another Spruce and Bruise unboxing video and in today's video we're going to be checking out the Code Right, the new character for the Carajon Overlords. So I'm um, I'm a bit of a fan of the old Carajons, I've got a fleet ready for the um, ready for the new book, ready to have a few games. Um, so it's awesome that Games Workshop have sent us not only the book but also this guy. Now um, there are a few people online they are a bit unhappy that it's another HQ choice instead of like a new unit choice. Um, I would agree with that. I'd like to see some more units for the Caradrons, but you know what? It's always cool to get a brand new model for the army that you like. Um, so here we go, the code right. So he's um, he's not the prettiest of fellas. Ooh, bit of glare off the old lights there. But um, he's cool. He's got like a little mini library on his back, uh, which is very cool. So I have had a flick through um, the battle tome. You can check out the review over on spruceandbruise.com. But just to give you a quick overview of what this guy does. So in the new book, it works quite a lot differently than the previous battle tome. So um, whereas you have still got your sky ports, um, you do get a special rule for, instance, that, for selecting that sky port. For example, let's pick Barak Nar, for example. So it's quite a popular one. So in the previous book, you got a whole heap of things. You would get a special rule for picking that sky port. You would get a unique enhancement that you had to take as your first enhancement. Um, you would also get um, sort of set footnotes and um, amendments and stuff. In the new book, so for Barak Nar now, um, for every hero you've got, you roll a dice on a four plus extra command point, very similar to the last book. Um, but that's it. Um, you're free to choose whatever enhancement what, of whatever enhancements you want from the book. Um, any um, any boat upgrades, things like that. But now, regardless of what skyport you've chosen, you get to pick uh, an amendment, um, an article, and a footnote um, to go for your army. Now. They're set for the whole battle. Um, your article is something that affects you during the whole course of the game. The amendment, or most of them, are sort of once per turn abilities, whilst the footnotes are once per battle abilities, and there's, there's three of them. So um, what this guy allows you to do is, instead of doing a heroic action with one of your other heroes, you can do a heroic action with this guy. You roll a d6. On a 1, nothing happens. On a 2 to a 4, I think it is, um, you get to change your footnote um, to something else. So you, maybe you've used your once per battle footnote, so you want a new one, you use this guy um, to try and get that. If you roll a five or a six, you get to pick a brand new footnote and or a new amendment. So maybe the battle's changed slightly um, and you want to change your amendment, that's a good way of doing it. So it's all on a, all on a dice roll as a heroic action. And the other thing this guy can do is he can also gain you an extra command point. I think it's on a four plus um, in your um, hero phase. So um, you, what you'll find with the carriage on is it's quite easy to get some additional command points um, depending on what units you've chosen, which sky ports, um, which is pretty cool. So I think that's enough about rules. Like I say, the, the full review is over on spruceandbruise.com. I'll pop the link in the YouTube description so you can check that out at your leisure. Um, but let's get this guy unboxed. So without further ado, Let's get the plastic off him and have a look at this bruise. So first and foremost, you have a base. And then the most important thing is the sprue itself. So let's see if we can get some good shots of this. Um, so this guy's got a couple of books. There's the back of his little library on his back. I like how detailed the back of the books are. They're cool. Not too many parts, looks very straightforward to put together. Um, I was kind of hoping the text on the book would be um, already there, like already modelled in. Looks like you might have to get a really fine brush to kind of jot some stuff down in there. There's the front of his little library on his backpack. The bulk of the model and the other book. So just the one little spree for this guy. There's his head, looking pretty mean. So yeah, looks like quite a straightforward model to build. Um, it all comes in a little black container, but then we have the instructions. So here he is, the code right. And there's how you put him together. Doesn't look too bad. And then you have his basic rules on the back. So none of his special rules, just his basic stats. 
Um, you know, he's okay uh, in a fight, really. You're taking him for the the extra CP that you can gain from him and the change in the footnote and amendment. But yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, so that's that's him, really. Uh, not not an awful lot to unbox there. Um, but hopefully, after this transition, we'll come back with a nice painted code right. So uh, let's see what happens. So I'm pleased to say a few days have passed and I have managed to build and paint this little dwarf or dwarden uh, in the mortal realms, uh, as they're called. Um, I did really enjoy painting the little library on his back as well. Um, it's a really cool little model. Can't wait to use him in game. Um, a lot of fun with the books as well that he's holding. Um, I haven't had the courage to try and put some text in those books yet, but I'm going to get myself a new really fine brush and give that a go. I also need to dry brush that base as well. I completely forgot before I recorded. But that is one code right built and painted. Um, now, along with this model, of course, the book is also now for pre-order. I have done a full length review, which is over on spruceandbruce.com. There will be a link in the description. There will also be a video, um, which you can check out at your leisure. Um, but it's a pretty cool book. Um, it's not a massive departure from the previous book, but there's quite a few things that have been tidied up, such as the transport rules for the sky vessels um, and things like that. So well worth picking up that book uh, and give it a read if you play as the overlords. So thank you for checking out this video. Um, we will be back with more content very soon. Until then, have a great time hobbying and I'll speak to you again very soon. Bye.